Hello guys, welcome to Global Domain 2.0 channel. Today we will talk about Indo-Bangladesh relations. <clears throat> Indian and Bangladesh share a border of 4096 km which runs through Assam, Tripura, Mizoram, Meghalaya and West Bengal. Bangladesh gained independence in its independence in December 1971 and India was the first country to recognize it as a you know sovereign state in fact. Bangladesh played a significant role in fact plays a significant role in India's neighborhood first policy. Also the national anthem of both countries were composed by Rabindranath Tagore. And uh, when we talk about India's link, uh, you know, in fact, when we talk about India's links with, uh, you know, Bangladesh, so there are so many important, uh, I think, uh, areas where uh, we have, you know, uh, are in deep touch with uh, Bangladesh, just like we have civilizational, you know, contact, cultural contact, social and fact, economic contact. There are many things that uh, bring the two countries closer, in fact, together just like music, literature and the arts. Both countries share, you know, 54 rivers, you know, uh, in fact, so many, you know, uh, rivers flow through the both countries. A deal for the water sharing of the Ganges river already exists between the two countries and both parties are striving to complete agreements for the water sharing of the other common rivers. In fact, India and Bangladesh are also engaged in you know uh, regional cooperation through multilateral forums such as Beamstec and in fact the full form of Beamstec is Bay of, Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. In fact SARC, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. Now we'll talk about you know Kushiara River Water Agreement. So Kushiara River uh, Water Agreement is the first water sharing agreement since the land landmark treaty of water treaty of 96. So under this a uh, MOU that is memorandum of understanding was signed between the two countries uh, on the sharing of this uh, river water a distributary of which is in fact a distributary of you know Barak, Barak River which flows through Assam and then enters Bangladesh. Now we'll talk about India's relationship with the Bangladesh on trade front. So Bangladesh has become, you know, India's leading South Asian trading partner and the world's fourth largest market, in fact, for Indian exports in the year 2001-22. Exports to Bangladesh increased by more than 66% during financial year 2021 and financial year 21-22. And that is uh, from, in fact, uh, 9.69 billion dollar to 16 point, in fact, 5, 15 billion dollar. So that India's Bangladesh second largest trading partner and the Asia's top market destination for exports. Now we'll talk about India and Bangladesh. Uh, you know, a new ag agreement that is called SEPA. Even though, even though there have been unofficial discussion between, you know, uh, about you know SEPA since uh, 2018 and SIPA is the full form of SIPA is Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Now we will uh, put focus on you know what is the main goal of SIPA. So it is uh, based, the main uh, uh, you know focus in fact goal of SIPA is to you know close a trade imbalance that exists between the two countries with a concentration of uh, on trade in goods and services and in fact uh, investment is also included in that category. So Bangladesh is, is eager to finalize, in fact, uh, this SIPA with uh, in a year as it prepares to transit into a developing country by 2026. <clears throat> and after which it may no longer be eligible for trade privileges that it presently enjoys as a least developed country. And now we will talk about uh, areas of conflict that exist between, you know, India and Bangladesh. So there are several areas, in fact, and now the first one is these are river dispute and this uh, river is a major source of irrigation in fact for the parity growing region of you know India and Bangladesh and uh, a fair distribution of these are river along the lines of uh, 96 Ganga water treaty is uh, what countries were you know uh, aiming for. Now the Faraka Baraj dispute the second one is 
Now, although the two countries successfully in fact reached an agreement about the you know sharing of you know Ganges waters in 96, there is still a long standing you know this agreement regarding India's building and operation of the Afraka Barrage, which was built to augment the river Hooghly's water supply. Now we'll talk about insurgency. So this is one of the important you know uh, areas of conflict that exists between the both countries. But the main point of this agreement between the two countries is insurgency. According to media sources, the United Liberation Front of Assam, you know, in short, we, will, we call it ULFA, the NDP of Bodoland and, uh, in, and the National Liberation Front of Tripura, all ran camps in, you know, Bangladesh in 2001. Additionally, there are suspicions that the ULFA has a number of successful income generating ventures in Bangladesh that it uses to fund its insurgent uh, operations in India. Now the ne next one area of uh, dispute is illegal migration. The flow of migrants across the Bangladesh border as a result of the country's unrest has further strained the relation between the both countries. The inhabitants of Indian states bordering Bangladesh including Tripura, Mizoram, Assam, Meghalaya and West Bengal have you know experienced substantial socio-economic socio political uh, challenges as a result of the significant influx of you know these migrant migrants uh, across the border. Now the another area of conflict is how to counter China's influence. So enhancing India's connection with Bangladesh by assisting Bangladesh with the nuclear technology AI that is artificial intelligence modern forming methods and the exchange of flood data help in countering China's influence in Bangladesh. Another dispute is border dispute. Tensions along the border between Bangladesh and India are nothing new and uh, we know that India has a you know a huge border with you know Bangladesh that is close to 4096 kilometer 4096 kilometer and uh, in fact 180 kilometer long marine border separating India from Bangladesh. Sharing river water dispute and uh, sorry sharing river water that is uh, the one well, main issue in fact uh, between two countries is the disagreement over water and as I have already told you that India share more than uh, 54 rivers with you know the water of 54 rivers with you know Bangladesh and uh, in order to maximize the benefits of uh, their shared river system the two nations have uh, you know bilateral joint rivers you know commission which was set up way back in June 1972. So its uh, duties include you know uh, developing flood control measures, formulating proposals for you know advanced flood warnings, flood forecasting and cyclone warming as well as researching flood control and uh, irrigation projects. So now I am taking a leave. Tomorrow we will have you know detailed discussion uh, over you know India's relationship with you know ASEAN countries and uh, in fact at the end, don't forget to subscribe my channel. We will come up with more videos with regard to international relations. Goodbye.